Welcome to What's the Tea in L&E. I'm Emily. And I'm Leah. We are management side employment attorneys with Woods Rogers. And today we are talking about when and how it's ever appropriate to share an employee's confidential medical information. Leah, why are we talking about this? Well, recently I had this inquiry come up from a client where two supervisors, they were pretty upset that an employee was working from home and they had been, the employee had been granted the accommodation to work from home from the HR department. <laughs> and the supervisors went to HR and demanded to know, what is this underlying medical condition? We don't believe mm. she has this. This is fraud. She just wants to work from home. Well, can, so the, then the question was, can the HR department tell the supervisors what this employee's medical condition was? Well, if they're just there because they are upset, uh, probably not. Yeah, the general rule under the Americans with Disabilities Act is that an employer, which includes HR, supervisors, managers, must keep employee medical information confidential. And an employee can actually sue the company for improper disclosure of medical information. Yeah, and yeah. They basically have to show that, hey, this information was confidential and you revealed this improperly. And when we say confidential, meaning it's not an obvious disability, right? So if an employee is in a wheelchair, is, in a, is a paraplegic, that's maybe not confidential, right? Um, and that this they suffered some sort of injury, whether it's embarrassment, shame, or loss of employment, demotion, loss of some opportunity. Absolutely. So there are some instances where um, a manager is privy can be privy to at least some information. It's an easy way to think about it is that it's on a need to know basis. So a supervisor should really only be informed about an employee's medical condition to the extent that there's a restriction on the employee's ability to do their job and need an accommodation. Yeah, so really just telling the safe, the safe part of that, the safe practice is telling a supervisor what the restrictions are. Mm -hmm. You don't need to tell them the underlying medical condition or disability yes. that the employee has. But hey, this employee has a particular medical condition that requires the employee to have ex need excess breaks during the day or need four or five um, breaks during the day. The other issue is when there's maybe an emergency. Yeah, if there's an emergency and a supervisor may need to administer care quickly, you can let them know that much. An example of this could be an employee who has a severe allergy and may need to have an EpiPen administered very quickly if they have a reaction. Um, an employee who has diabetes and has passed out multiple times in the workplace, an employer you know, may need to tell their supervisor that there's a fainting risk. We actually had that come up where a client had an employee with diabetes mm -hmm who kept fainting on the manufacturing floor. And so as a safety protocol yeah. um, for, for the supervisor to be able to administer the insulin and call 911, they informed the supervisor that the employee did have diabetes and that was okay. Oftentimes you wanna work with the employee and let them know that you're going to do that. Absolutely, the takeaway is, does the supervisor have a legitimate business need to know? That's the only caveat. Otherwise, an employee's medical information should remain confidential. Absolutely. And this also protects the supervisor. So if they come to you demanding that information, you can explain to them, look, we don't want you to have this information. Let's say that the, you end up having to address this employee's performance or write them up or terminate them. Mm -hmm. And they try to sue you for, hey, you let me go or demoted me because um, you treated me differently because you found out I have lupus or some other medical condition. Well, no, we want the supervisor to be able to say, no, I didn't even know that. I only knew that she couldn't be outside for X amount of time a day or couldn't have sun exposure. So with that, keep medical information confidential and call us with any questions. See you next time.